All right, so we are in tomato sauce making mode again. This here is the Bayou Classic uh, Boiler, 82 quart. Uh, we were doing it in the house, but we had all these pots, you know, this side, we had a 22 quart. Uh, we had like four of these things going all on the, we have electric stove top and a gas. That's just a lot of, a lot of mess, a lot of, a lot of heat in the house. So with this, we can pretty much do everything in one of these pots. Right now, well, to get it started, what we had to do is get your flame going, put your pot on there, fill this thing about quarter ways full, okay, with your cut up tomatoes, and keep stirring that around. It's gonna very quickly start uh, stewing down, and uh, a lot of water is gonna be coming out of there. So after that, after it gets nice and uh, soupy, start adding more tomatoes because if you add too much tomatoes at once, you won't be able to stir it. It'll start burning on the bottom and we don't want that. Now, these pots here hold a lot of whatever you're putting in there. <laughs> the 82 quart. This thing, if I measured it correctly, if I remember it, it was uh, 19 and three quarter inches, almost 20 inches across. Nice, and about 17, 17 and a half tall. The pot itself, not the burner. So this is gonna be our new way of making tomato sauce. We're gonna cook it down the tomatoes here first, and then out here we're gonna run it through the tomato uh, milling machine and it'll separate the skin and the uh, seeds out from the tomato sauce. And then we're gonna use those smaller pots, bring them inside, and we're, then we're gonna can it. Now you gotta keep stirring it every so often, and actually every, not even every minute, less than that, because the flame is concentrated right in the middle, and the, pot, the uh, pot here, it's designed to boil water, really. So the bottom of this pot is actually just as thick as the side here. There's no extra plate on the bottom. So that flame is really, really gets that metal on the bottom hot. Um, uh, too concentrated in one area, so you're gonna have to stir this occasionally. Now, if we were just boiling water, it wouldn't matter. But we got tomatoes in here, and we don't want that to burn. Another thing I want to say is when you're stirring it, when you're first starting off, hang on to the side of the pot because you will be able, you will push this thing off the uh, burner. So you have to be very careful. Alrighty, I have another pot of, pot of cut tomatoes. Yeah, we're almost full here. Now it's getting more soupy, and uh, there's no, there's not that much resistance on the paddle here. So I don't, I don't have to worry about sliding this thing off. Uh, plus the weight, there's more weight on it now. But when you first start off on this and you have about a quarter to a third of it full, it's hard to stir. In fact, it's almost impossible. You have to hang on to the side and start doing one of these things just to get it to move around or it'll burn on the bottom. But very quickly, the juice, the water will start coming off those tomatoes and uh, it'll start cooking down and it'll start getting real nice. All right, that's good enough. Shut the flame off. Let me get this table a little closer. Oops. Let's do, put it here. What I'm 
trying to do is get it close enough to where I can get this really close to the pot without dripping everything on the ground. There we go. All right, now we're good. Let me plug this in. Gotta get our pots ready. Put that right here. Now I got a skimmer. I ordered a longer one. This here is, uh, what is it, 18 inches I think. I ordered another one that I think it's 24. Um, but that's coming, but I'll use that some other time. But this will work. Uh, and it's to scoop it up and put it in here. And the beautiful thing about these skimmers is, as you're scooping it, the water comes down. And you're left with all your solids up here. And that goes to the machine and you get nice, thick tomato sauce. Not watery tomato sauce. Um, so that's what these things are beautiful for. So what we need to do is lubricate the arbor inside this machine. If you haven't seen this machine here, um, this is the Fabio Leonardi uh, tomato milling machine. I'm going to put a link to everything, to the pot, the burner, this machine, all in the description. Um, I have a video I did last year. We processed 200 pounds of tomato that we bought, um, but through here. And I show how we put it together and, and how to break it in. And I'll put a link to that up here in the corner. Um, but we are just about ready here to start the machine going. I have to lubricate the arbor, get yourself some nice, good olive oil. And we'll pour that right on, right on top of the arbor. All right, guys, we got that lubricated. Give this a little stir. Now, I lubricated the arbor. We're going to put... See, the water falls and all the solids stay here. We're going to put that in there. Now, once we get going, the liquid itself, the water from the uh, tomato sauce, the juice and all that will lubricate the arbor from here on in. All right, we got our pot ready. Juice is flowing. Here we go. And I forgot the catcher. And boy, did I make a mess. <laughs> I forgot to put the pot here to catch all the uh, stuff. Oh, well. All right, so I picked up all the uh, skins and seeds that fell on there. I was, supposed to, I was supposed to put something here to catch it all. So let's try this again. Let me give this a nice little stir. All right, here we go. It does come, this machine comes with a pusher if, it's, if you need to, but if you move it around with the uh, skimmer, you should be able to get it down. All right, here we go. Catching it? Yeah. Okay.
think that's about it. All right. That looks to be about it. And then I'm going to get a different spoon or something and then get the rest of this off of here. But this is a beautiful, thick, I don't have my spoon, but you can see how nice and thick that is. You see that? That's beautiful. And then we're going to cook this for probably, I don't know, half hour to an hour. And um, then we're going to start canning it. All right, guys, the sauce is pretty much done. It's been cooking for about a half hour uh, after I passed it to the machine. Um, you, want to, you want to keep this hot all the time and boiling. You just gave it a good stir. Now what we want to do, get yourself a funnel, a good funnel for canning. Get yourself a small pot. Be really careful. Now all my jars, all my jars I put basil in them, okay? They all got basil in them. Perfect. Now all the lids, I boiled all the lids, okay? So here I got a little magnet. Just pick it up and put it on there. The key is not to touch the inside of the jars. It's pretty warm. Tighten them up real good. The key is Jars are sterilized in the oven. The lids I boiled, just the lids. These are washed in the dishwasher, the rings. Um, and don't touch the inside of the jars or the uh, lids, okay? That's why you got, they sell these little magnets you can pick it up. Now you can pick them up by the edge, but don't touch the lid on the inside of the lid, okay? Uh, other than that, everything is sterilized. This is super, super hot. I can't even touch it. This is boiling. So you know this is at 212 degrees or 100 or Celsius. You know what? I need to wipe. Okay. All right guys, so after we tighten the lids, we put them on this table here and we put blankets on them. Now, if you have a nice table like we have here, I put a piece of insulation on the table or you can use a, a piece of thick plywood or some boards or something to keep the jars, the heat from transferring on your wood table because it could mess up your table. So, okay, insulation, we got some blankets on top and it keeps them really, really warm. Um, it's the next morning here, or actually it's in, we're in the afternoon right now, and uh, they're still too hot to handle. So we have, most of them are one quart, and we have some two quart jars. Uh, we're gonna use up two quarts first though. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice. So this is the last batch we just did. Uh, how many, I guess we can uncarver these now. We did, uh, out of 240 pounds we just did, we have, uh, how many we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, 30, 30, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 37, one quarts and one, two, three, four, five, six, two quarts. That's a lot of sauce. That was just the last batch. We have, I don't know how many jars we have of, uh, from the last two batches we did. This is the third batch we did. This year, 
2020, we've processed 621 pounds of tomatoes. That's a lot of tomatoes. And we still have on the vines right now that are probably too ripe even, uh, we probably have a good maybe 200 pounds left on there of tomatoes. Um, we might process one more time. Um, but yeah, we've been blessed with tomatoes this year and we just got tons and tons of tomato sauce. We're going to have tomato sauce here for the next year and tons to give away to friends and family. So guys, if you're serious about making tomatoes, tomato sauce, uh, get that machine that I have. Uh, get a big old pot like that I have. I'll put everything in the description to all that, I, that I've used. And um, thank you for watching. And please like, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.